Okay, sounds good. Also, All I right. um, just right, let I'm you right. know, I turned down my audio um, gain some, so the when the episode actually starts, it'll be a lot quieter than when it is, what it is at the beginning. Oh, yeah, no, like, no, you're fine, okay. you're fine. I'm just, I'm like clapping my cheeks. Okay, clapping my cheeks, baby. Dang, boy, he do be sick. He do be sick, ooh, boy, ooh, he ooh, sick. Ooh. Mm. Oh, Listen yeah. to those oh. firm cheeks, oh. yo. <laughs> oh, spanking. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Oh wait, did Why they actually catch into the recording? Why do we start out like this? What's wrong with that? <laughs> I don't know, man. I think it's the coffee. I'm getting the jittery because I'm talking and I can't stop talking and I can't start shutting up. <gasps> and then I start making no freaking sense. And then I go on to the topic and I'm just like, Yeah, let's go. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's great. It's perfect, yo. It's a, it's a mama uh, mia spaghetti. Uh, it's a mama mia uh, spaghetti. Uh, <laughs> Pokemon Soul Versus Podcast, where joined along with me is the idiot. Uh, what's his name again? Hey, dude. Hi, what, my what's name your name? Idiot. I, I forgot you. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi, 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 we got everybody. idiot my back in the idiot. podcast. How are you guys doing today? Make sure to subscribe to yes. idiot at idiot. Just so, exactly oh, actually, idiot on YouTube. YouTube.com slash idiot. YouTube.com slash idiot. Yeah, yeah something exactly. like that. Subscribe to him. Yeah, yeah. Get him to 1 million subs. Yeah, he has zero subscribers. Actually, negative 2,000 subscribers. Definitely go ahead and show him some yeah, love and support for this idiot. Not gonna lie, he kind of <laughs> needs it. He, he's, he's, he's been hacked by the YouTube algorithm recently, so he, he's kind of struggling. Go show this man some support. Yeah, yeah, he... <laughs> Yeah, to be, to be fair, he has like 300 subscribers in the term of this recording, but by the end of this podcast, he'll go negative 3,000. Probably, yeah, yeah, yeah. And his platform will be Let's shut go. down, his Twitch, his Twitter, yeah. everything, everything will be just, like every, he'll canceled. Just cease to exist. He'll be he'll be just the way Thanos style. Exactly. He'll be just the way Thanos style. Oh, Infinity War spoilers, by the way. <laughs> From a man who's never watched Infinity oh. War. Oh. <laughs> hey. It's 2021. Come this on. Is true. I think this people should have watched Infinity War. That was meant to be a joke. That was meant to be a joke. <laughs> Wait, when and was the that movie released? I, that I haven't seen the movie, so I think it was. Infinity Wait, you serious? War, right, because Endgame is the Are Endgame. Are you serious? You you have not watched the movie, dude? I haven't watched any Avengers movies. <laughs> who, the f- who the frick are you, dude? <laughs> who are you right now? Listen, man, I am. I am. I, I'm uh, why are you even line. alive, dude? I mean, no, no, no. Why are you even alive? Why right am I? Now? You know what? You, why you, you have you a even? good, you, you, very good question, sir. I have no idea. You know, I could forgive that you don't watch anime, because that's understandable. It ain't for everyone. <laughs> but Marvel, bro, I haven't bro, seen the new Star Marvel. Wars movies. I haven't seen Star Trek. What else have I not seen? I haven't seen Harry Potter. <laughs> oh, hell no. Oh, 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 you pushed the line. You pushed the line right there. That, that That's a line you can never come back from. Okay, Marvel, all right. Harry Potter. Everyone loves Harry Potter in some shape or form. <laughs> no, come not on. Me. I've read the books. I've watched the movie. <laughs> Okay, the books are understandable. Uh, Not everyone is literate or wants to read. Yeah. But, like, the movies, bro. Movies. The movies Come bro. on. What have you watched? Now, you know what? Let me ask um, that question before we even start off this uh, podcast. What um, do you watch? Um, Disney movies? <laughs> Pixar movies? Uh, <laughs> that's, that's pretty much it. DreamWorks? So, DreamWorks? I, let me ask this question. I have to ask this question. Yeah. Have you watched Incredibles? Yes, I have watched Incredibles. Okay, at least you're educated in the thickness. I haven't seen it in years, actually. I saw it when I was a kid and didn't understand, like, the more adult aspects of the film. Well, I say adult like it's an adult movie. It's not an adult movie, but it's, like, it's an animated movie kind of more aimed to adults than to kids. But, like, those the themes that they talk about in Incredibles, I did not understand as a kid. And so I was like, eh, I don't really like this movie that much. But now that I'm, like, older and I kind of, like, understand more about what it's about, I might enjoy it again. Incredibles 2 is mediocre, Dang. though. <laughs> Incredibles 2 oh, was mediocre. Incredibles I, was 2 like, was, well, eh. mm. I, I think that was wasn't that more towards uh what's her name? Uh I forgot her uh, name. The stretchy, stretchy girl. girl. Elastic girl. <laughs> Elastic oh. girl. Wasn't there like a lot of fan service on her? Oh yeah, that yeah. Movie because itself? because that like literal oh. that literal scene where she's staring at her butt. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Thickness. The thickness, thickness at is its real. Finest. The thickness is real. <laughs> that that is Pixar and Disney in a nutshell. You know? <laughs> oh, I, I don't know about that. When they that. try to censor stuff. I don't know about that. No, they, every, they have they have you know, their, they have their ways of sneaking stuff in. They have their ways of sneaking stuff in. So, 
<laughs> that much I do know. I should take a note from that. I should take a yeah, note. Yeah, you from should. You should. Every do. now and you then, put add them, that. add that element to my yeah, videos. Exactly. You benefit from it all. <laughs> Oh, uh, and then get subscribed for that very reason. You know, you I'll be okay with that. You know, I need some fitness. No, 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 no. As long as you put some transparent, change the gradient, you know, do a just, little bit to just, get around the algorithm, and then you like it. Yeah, but anyways, you know, uh, let's, the let's, let's the, talk about, I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, you know, you see, go, you know, Goki Fair gets very uncomfortable on yes, this topic. I do. And I love I it. Do. I, I love it. I love it. I am a man who does not understand these things. This man does not... It does not understand the thickness. I do not understand the thickness. Elastic I do not understand the thickness. But anyways, uh, let's go ahead and get started with the podcast because well, there's so much we want to talk yeah, about. Yeah, because there's a whole Pokemon Direct like that happened. <laughs> exactly. Oh, so boy. we want to get... Oh, this, boy. This there are have. some interesting things coming up and I'm excited about it. But, oh, I have a lot of comments on that. Oh, yeah. I, cannot, I, I don't remember wait, that much about Shining Diamond. By the way, those of you wondering, we have not talked about the um, Direct yet and we're not going to talk about it yet. We're going to go ahead and do our episodes first address a few comments that we both got, and then we'll talk about the, mm-hmm. Nintendo, the Pokemon Direct, because it's the Pokemon Direct! So, um... All right. Are we ready to start so off I'll with let you take things? care of the comments. the first thing that happened this week was a five-minute-long video before the actual episode 21, where I talk about I got swept by a Gardevoir. That was six that. levels above me. <clears throat> that. Even though <throat> I was on par with everybody in the gym. It was great. And even the rest of Koga's Pokemon. And yet, Gardevoir is just like, hi, I'm here to ruin your day. So that was fun. <laughs> oh, God. Which, actually, you guys are going to see in a bonus episode for what actually happened. Yeah, yeah, the bonus episode will <laughs> be going that. up um, very, very soon. Um, spoiler alert, are we allowed to say how many episodes are left? Yeah, there are th- uh, at this point. Yeah, okay, cool. There are two episodes yeah. left. There are literally, you guys are getting the finale um, as of the time of this recording this week. Like, you'll be getting the finale, like... Early March, basically. And then the last episode... I think March 2nd, yep. I believe, right? Um, yep. March 2nd, you should be getting the final Yeah, March 2nd, you'll get the final. Episode. And then March 4th is when you'll get the last episode. Mm-hmm. And then there's one last podcast, and then that'll be it for the series. Yeah. Well, I mean, we might, we might keep the podcast going. I feel like... I kind of enjoy doing these podcasts, I'm not gonna lie. I kind of want to keep these podcasts going. No, no, I mean, like, as in terms of the Soling Versus Oh, series, yeah, in terms like, of the Soling Versus uh, series, yeah, yeah, yeah. Late. In terms of Soling Versus, it'll be it, so... We'll be done for yeah. a while. <laughs> We'll be done for a while. Uh-huh. Um, we've talked about... We've talked a little bit about going... We'll, we'll talk about it more in greater detail once the Soling Versus is actually done, but we've talked about doing, like, season four, maybe in the summer or something like that. Uh, we we got yeah. a lot, though, during... I mean, I got a lot during the summer, so it would be during a very specific time frame, which would be really hard to do. But uh, we'll talk about that later on after this, this the season three ends. Let's get through season three first. <laughs> Even though we're almost done, let's get through season three. Exactly. So... But anyways, we're talking about episode 21. Uh, there is that whole debacle. Um, hopefully everything made sense. I didn't get any comments saying that, like, oh, can you explain it a little bit better? So hopefully that all made sense. Um, uh, so that's good. And again, um, I, ca- I actually forgot about this until I edited the episode. But I remember that Gizmo had, like, a 15-minute head start because um, he uh, didn't save state before uh, the episode. So he couldn't go back to his original save. Um so it will be like that sometimes <laughs> but you know i i decided i he actually gizmo and i want to clarify this again gizmo offered to wait 15 minutes he's the one who offered that he's the one who offered that and i said true, true no i don't think it's fair because i lost and then also i don't want to keep the people waiting so to give credit where credit is due gizmo wasn't being a jerkwad in fact he was being the kind one here so um yeah in case that needed to be said it's mm-hmm. been said uh, and then, the, pretty much the other thing is, I, I realized, after, literally just now, while watching back the episode, I forgot to do the chroma key, so you guys just see a black screen where the, the thing <laughs> go up, and it's like, well... That was hilarious! I didn't even realize it, man, I didn't even I'm sorry, it. Goki, I'm sorry. I didn't even realize sorry, it, dude. That was funny. That was funny. I wonder if the same thing happened in episode, have you seen episode 23? I wonder if the same thing happened in that. <laughs> no, 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 it didn't happen. Okay, good. Didn't At least it didn't happen in episode 23. I don't know why it happened in episode 21. Maybe it was just a rendering issue, but yeah, whatever. And the way I do sometimes. Um, and then I believe uh-huh. in episode 21, um, there weren't any badges that were obtained besides maybe you beating yeah. Sabrina or Koga or somebody. I don't know. Hey. Um, hey. I and, but I do think you got through Silph Cow. That was what, yeah, you got through Silph Cow. Yeah, you got I got through Silph Cow relatively early on. And then the got the badge. I claimed that dub. You claimed the I dub. I clutched baby. it. You claimed the dub. I clutched it. Clutched it. it. You clutched it, man. 
But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for episode 21. So, um, and then we'll, uh, after we talk about the episodes, we'll address a couple of the comments that we got, and then we'll move forward from there. So, Kismo, what have you got? Well, on episode 22, titled Mew the HM Slave, which, whoo, it, it, ain't, it wasn't wow. wrong. For all, for the people that haven't been keeping up with the series, I had a HM Slave who was Silica, aka the Slowpoke. And so, basically, in this episode, I made my way to Cinnabar Island after I beat it the Sabrina. So, I went into this specific house. I don't remember. It was like the very bottom of the map uh, in Cinnabar Island. And I went to this house, opened up, and what do you know? Coincidence enough, I m talked to this woman. This woman wanted me to trade my Slowpoke in exchange for me. And I said, I told Goku. Oh, yeah, what? I remember that. I was like, um, I mean... That's a good offer. I mean, I mean, there's slow pokes everywhere. You don't get a mute. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, I was debating for a second. It was like me and Silica had a relationship going <laughs> on for 24, ep 23 episodes. I forgot about that completely. I was like, I saw the title. I was like, mute the HM slide. I was like, huh? Uh, spoiler alert. I don't watch most of these episodes. So <laughs> it's, been a, it's been a while yeah. since I've lived through that. So this episode was, <laughs> it was crazy because yeah. I was just like, I could get a mute even though I can't use it. But the fact that I could have it on my party. That's sick. Is more than enough. It's more than that, enough, it more that, than enough it for me. It gives you that clickbait title, dude. You know what I mean? It gives you that very clickbaity title. Yeah, so I got Mew, and it was amazing. Mm -hmm. And that's pretty much all that happened on my side. I beat up the Pokemon house, or what was it? The, po the no, Pokemon the Pokemon Mansion, mansion and made right. my way towards the end. Yeah. Be going to Blaine. But I didn't manage to beat Blaine because, well, Aha. time. Yeah, time was a Freaky. factor, and time was, in, like, was against me. But right anyways, now. on Goki's side, which was in the alternate universe, I'm just trying to play catch up, with man. <laughs> episode I'm just trying to play catch up, Goki dude. caught up. Goki caught up hella fast. He beat Koga, he beat Sabrina, and made his way to the Pokemon Mansion. And I, that is a feat nobody else can do. <laughs> but you. to be fair, this guy was desperate. <laughs> you know, I was desperate as dude. I, I did the training, and I was like, so I that, need to knock out. Like, I knew, if it was, I knew, like, at this point, it was either do or die. So I had to do, and then I did it. So, ha. But, um, yeah, that was kind of exactly. like my whole headset there, was because it was like, the only person I can't beat is Koga because of the um, guard war. I think I even took on Sabrina first. Then I took on Koga because mm -hmm. I, I just wanted to take that risk with Sabrina. Um, so I ended up doing exactly. that. Exactly. got that done. And then I, um, yeah, flew over and try and now I'm trying to play catch up. So the 15 minutes actually do kind of affect me quite a bit at this point. So actually to be fair, if you had the 15 minutes, it would have been the other way. Yeah. Around, if I had the 15 probably, minutes, it would be the other be way fair. around, which is, in, which is insane to think about, but who knows, but who knows that will be an alternate timeline. You guys will series, know so. by the end of next week, that, by the end of a week and a half, like exactly. by the end of like, when, like, when, like Tuesday, you'll find out. So, yep. Yep. I think so. Unless it's my opposing the night. Fingers crossed. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I'll do it. I'll do it. Uh, yeah. But yeah. So So that was episode twenty two in a nutshell. Nice. So go keep uh, episode twenty three. Nothing much happened except now we're in the end game. Now we're just blitzing through the entire game. Um I beat the seventh we both beat the seventh gym leader in this episode, and we've also both raced through a majority of the Sevi Islands. Gizmo by the end of it was on his way to get the Moltres, and I believe I was about to take on the biker gang. So, I'm trying to play catch up really fast. Um, Gizmo's starting to get ahead again, I think, by this point. Um, thanks to his mm -hmm. overpowered Latias. And, um, you know, <clears throat> me not being able to one-shot everything. So, that's terrifying. But that's pretty much all that happened in episode 23. Nothing too extremely spectacular happened. It's just at this point, this is when, mm -hmm. this is when the going gets tough. This is when it's, like, neck and neck. This is when it starts going, like... This is the last We're, half. like, right next we're to the final in the race. And the fact that we're so close to the end... Is driving us forward quite a bit. So that's pretty much all that happened in episode 23, but it is a fast paced, action packed episode, uh, which I still highly encourage you all to check out because my god, it, it starts getting intense from here. This is where it starts really getting into the end game. Anyways, that's pretty much it. Um, mm -hmm. No other comments, really. So, um, what do you have to say about episode 24? Oh. Well, since Goki doesn't know about this episode at all because I haven't published it, and which I will publish <laughs> <laughs> this Saturday. <laughs> oh, God. Internet issues will always be internet issues, but that shouldn't be an excuse because I should have done this earlier. Yeah, that's fine. But anyways, on episode 24, titled Strength, Where Are You? Now, if Goki can't get a hint of that, I don't know what is. What, what, what? Yeah, baby! Oh, let's go! My so, knowledge of Kanto reigns supreme! <laughs> Oh, let's yep. go. Yep. 
All right. Yeah. To give you a little bit more context, why I titled that, and then there was uh, additional to the title, but that doesn't matter anyways. So what I was trying to do in this episode, I was super ahead on Goki. Even though we were both at the Sevi Islands, I was pretty much ahead. I pretty much had the upper head edge. But the one thing that clutched this gap between me and Goki was the fact that I did not know where to find the HM for strength. I had no idea. Goki was, I, actually, I was thinking of actually searching it up, but Goki was like, no, 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 no. I was like, okay, all right. Yes. I got to use my big brain be here. I got to use my big brain here. Uh, and I went to, in this episode, I was trying to go crazy looking for it. I was like, I thought it was in Celadon. And I thought it was, actually, I believe I went to, what was it? Fuchsia? Or what was it? Uh, Sabrina City? Uh, I forget her city. I went to Saffron City and I went there. But then I was just like, wait, hold up. Maybe it's something that has to do with Fuchsia. So I went and flew into Fuchsia. But I never told Goki that I was at Fuchsia. So that way he could just chill, you know, a little bit. Yeah. That was me thinking. So anyways, I went to Fuchsia and I figured it out. I don't know how. I don't know if it was impulse, subconsciousness, telling me, go into this specific house. Because once I went to Fuchsia, I went to that specific house immediately. And I saw the, the little rocks and I was like, oh, right. This is where I got to go and get the strength, HM. And then, funny enough, Goki mentioned later on, it's like, did you get the golden teeth? And I was like, I don't know. I was like, oh, I guess I got it along the way. Yeah. <laughs> so I I, so I so managed to get the HMs uh, for strength. Eventually, I made my way back at, like, uh, I don't know, extreme speed velocity. So I made my way back, and I luckily enough, since I took some of the trainers before entering uh, the arena where you had to go and get Moltres, I took a couple of trainers ahead of time. So Goki got a little bit back traced on there. So I was like glad and I pick up the lead. And in the end, we at the end of the episode, we literally just are neck on neck for one another. That That's how I could sum up the episode. We were literally neck on neck. We got our Moltres almost at the same time. And we are now... At the end of the episode, we are now heading for our f final gym badge, the Earth Badge. And let's see what's up in the next episode. Yeah. So, as Goki already mentioned, the next two episodes are going to be the last final, I believe. Yeah, right? because uh, episode so. 20, we end uh, the finale is episode 26. So, I think in episode 25, we take on the 8th gym, the rival, and victory... Or, we take on the 8th gym, the rival, and maybe victory road. I can't remember. Um, I think in, yeah. in episode 26, I think we go from the vict I think we might take the victory road on in episode 26. I think that's what it was actually. In episode 26, we were just like we were going to take on the victory road, and then we we're going to make another um, episode for the finale. And then we were like, no, frick it, we're 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 blitzing through the we're blitzing through it. So. Oh yeah, those last two episodes, believe me. The, those crazy, are dude. episodes you do want to watch as we are now, as I mentioned before, at the end of episode 24, the gap between Goki and I are now closed. Yeah. That's it. Like, we are neck on neck. At this point, like, it's knowledge head, of the game is. versus overpowered team. That's that's literally what it comes down to. Actually, not even overpowered on paper, team, just overpowered on, on paper, just to let you all know, on paper, Goki has the overall best chance as his team is all around. And if you look at my side... I just got a Latias and a, a Weezy. Yeah, one and thing my rest of my mom's like another Pidgeotto situation, you're dead. I'm dead. I'm gone. I can but yeah, that was episode 24 in a nutshell. In the, in the <laughs> game. And then also, like you mentioned, I have like a really well-balanced team. So, and then combine that with my general knowledge of the game. The fact that you have gotten lost multiple times throughout the series, once in Rock Tunnel and once um, trying to find strength. If you get lost in Victory Road, that could mean something. So... That's not my proudest moment. Yes. You know? Not my proudest moment. It'll be series. like that. I mean, again, no, to be I, fair, I, like, I, know, I look back in the series. Those are my childhood games. Like, I, I played the heck out of those games. Um, so, I know, I knew how they worked. So, um, I love those games, too. Like, Gen, Gen 3, in my opinion, is probably the most aesthetically pleasing. Gen, I just love looking at them. They're so beautiful. But, um, I just happen to know the most about those gens, um, in particular. Like, Gen 3 and 4, I know a lot about. So... That's why I knew, like, I, I feel like there are probably going to be some people that are going to be, like, eventually that discover the series later on, they're probably going to be like, oh, Goki's cheating because he knows where to go. No, I, I did not cheat. I have not once looked up anything in the thing. I just knew where to go based on memory alone. And then also just um, learning from other people yeah, what their strats were. Like, I, hacker. I didn't even know about, like, the floors until I watched a video about it or something like that. Um, and it was like, oh, you just need, technically, you just need to go to the third and fifth floor for the self-co. I was like, huh? What? I did not know this. 
And then I just happened to remember in my, I just happened to remember it in my mind. And then like at first I struggled trying to find the card key because I couldn't remember which floor it was on. I knew it was one of the two, but I couldn't figure out which one it was. So there were moments where I was like, I don't know exactly what to do. So I hope that proves it at the very least. But um, you know, regardless, there's probably still gonna be people that are like, blah, 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 blah. so you know, you know, I'll go more into detail in the final podcast as the things that piss me off the most about myself. <laughs> speaking yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> about myself throughout this whole entire series because there's a lot of moments where i looking back i try to watch every single episode as they air but anime you know anime. I, I devoted my life to anime like YouTube, novels and manga, so... and they get the best yeah, of me yeah it's youtube <laughs> for me so uh but yeah so yeah i'll go into more detail about that in the final podcast as i was gonna sum up the series as a whole but not the podcast itself yeah though. but yeah uh, going on to the next theme before we go on talking about the Pokemon Direct yes, is the, the comments. comments that we want to address. And I thought I'd let Goki cover his comment yeah. first. So. so in episode 23, I recently got a comment be- from a person named Nate Chendo. I apologize for which is that last name. Uh, well, first off, we got two. First one says, Articuno Battle Mandatory and Jim A. Trainers 2. Good luck, boys. And I'm like, what? What does that mean? And then um, he puts another comment. Um, not deleting the first one, by the way. He just puts another comment. Saying, yes, I want the 8th gym trainers in Articuno and Victory Road. Then you can bum rush to end Articuno as mandatory since you called for Zapdos and Moltres. So I have no idea what we're uh-huh. talking about here. But apparently, um, what the situation is, I think this person, um, you know, assumed we were going to do Articuno. Or maybe we were talking about it in the episode or something like that. I will say we decided not to do Articuno for this run. The reason being is because... The reason we decided to do Moltres in the first place was because we decided it would be a great way to wrap up the Sebi Isles. Or Islands. Whatever. We decided it would be a great way to wrap up the Sebi Islands. Uh, We could have wrapped it up after Lost Dell, but I said, hey, we could end it at the Moltres encounter. Gizmo was like, cool, let's do that. So we're like, okay, bet. And then the reason we did the Zapdos encounter was because we we desperately needed a new pair, and I knew that that would be by far the easiest pair that would be good that we could get for both Gizmo and me. So that's why I said let's do the Zapdos encounter first to see if it's even parable. Because if we get something like Mewtwo and um, whatever the crap, we can make it work or whatever. Um, the so that's why we decided to do Articuno. And we decided like we didn't want to do Articuno because it was just like why? It doesn't really serve much of a purpose. In the in the actual run, oh, it would just it would just eat up another episode, really, and we didn't want to do that. We wanted to just keep the action going at a steady pace. We didn't want there to be like any type of like filler stuff per se. So we decided to just go all out blitz, and we did sidetrack a little bit to go get the Zapdos, but we decided that was mandatory, and thank goodness we did because now I have a Deoxys Defense form on my team. And then we just also decided on the oh, Moltres oh. one as well because we felt like that would be a great way to wrap up the Sebi Islands and then um, also take on a couple of the extra trainers there. And then we can go on to Gym 8. That's why we decided not to take on Articuno in this particular playthrough. Um, maybe we can do that in the future. But again, we decided not to do it because we didn't see it as we didn't see a point in doing so. Like, th- we could do some strategies like avoiding the trainers. <clears throat> Excuse me. We tr- try to find out strategies mm-hmm. why, like, avoiding all the trainers and the routes and stuff like that. But ultimately, it was just like, there wasn't much point in doing it. So, we yeah, both decided much. against it. Uh, so, that, yeah. that's pretty much, that pretty much speaking. that, episode, that um, right there. So, uh, yeah, Gizmo, if you want to add anything to that. Yeah, I was going to say, just hypothetically speaking, if we had in already a good around team, like, well around team, uh, we wouldn't have gotten the Zapdos we wouldn't yeah. end up having had to go and get that encounter. And the only legendary bird we would have gone to get was Moltres. Yeah, just because we yeah, wanted to, like, say we went in. to get a legendary bird. So, mm-hmm. and, yeah. um, yeah, like but that's, said, that's all I wanted to Sorry. Add. Yeah, but that's all I really wanted to add for that. Yeah, and then kind of, like, add on a little bit to that, too. It was like, you know, we were both discussing, we both discussed it before the episode. Uh, we were both like, hey, do, do you think we should get this pair? Do you, like, do you think this is a pair we should get? And Gizmo was like, "Yeah, no, I, I think this is, I think this is a good shot." And I was the one, I was the one who brought it up. I was like, "Hey, I kind of want to try to get this Galarian Zapdos encounter, or like Galarian Zapdos. This is Zapdos." Is- Galarian. This guy is already like. Listen, man, don't worry ahead. about it. Uh, <laughs> I want to try to get the Zapdos encounter because I want to try to get a high level Pokemon. Are you down? And um, he said, "Yeah, sure, let's go for it." Because you know, Gizmo, like I knew Gizmo was saying, like he hated how his only high level Pokemon were Weezing and Latias. So I was like, hey, if we oh, get yeah. another pair, mm-hmm. that would be great. And it turns out we were able to get a pair. We just had to get rid of our HM Slave pair. 
or well, not our HM slave pair, but like mm-hmm. our uh, licky tongue sneasel pair, and we were like, "Frig it, we're doing it." So that's why we did that. And then if um, the Molotris worked out, we would have done that or something like that. Well, you know, whatever. Mm-hmm. So we again, yep, we just decided it much. wasn't worth going to the Articuno because we decided it would take too much time out of the versus aspect. Um, it, it, we just felt like it would be better, like pacing wise, to just blitz and skip Articuno. <clears throat> so. Yeah, we didn't. We didn't want to have another filler episode. Yeah. We had already enough at the beginning. <laughs> we, yeah, we had it was like enough. it was already like we were already blitzing through the game. We were like, we're not going to try to drag out the series any longer than it needs to be. We're just going to blitz through the rest of the game. So then again, it's a versus. Yeah. So we and by this had point as well, it was like do what fourth, we can. It was win. like the fourth day in we a row where we were recording this, these episodes because again, um, I don't know if this person, uh, like, I don't know if this person realized it, but um, we recorded this entire series in three and a half days. And um, yeah. this was the, I believe, episode 23 was the start of the fourth day. So, um, yep. 23 all the way to the end, yep. I believe. Yeah, I think, uh, I think it was like, because I remember, I think we recorded like four episodes or something like that on the, tw- on the fourth day, which is why it was only like half of the day. But um, yeah, which we literally amazing. recorded this entire series like in four days. It was the wild. So, um, it had a lot of moments. It had a lot of moments. You got to thank Coffee for this series. Yeah, really. You got to thank Coffee. Coffee is the savior. Really? Yeah. You know? For the series, it, it it helped me survive those four days. Yeah. So, so anyways, that was that was pretty much it in my comments. That was just something to clarify. I haven't responded to this comment as of yet, but I will probably do it after this um, recording. So, uh, Gizmo, do you have any? Gotcha. Words? Yeah, so on my end, I had two comments as well. The first one being on episode 10, and it was from the same person named... I, I don't want to butcher that. I, I guess <laughs> it's, it's okay. Shandai- I already butchered it for you. It's Shandai- fine. Shandai- I butchered it for you. It's you know, I, if we I apologize. butcher your name, my names. bad. My bad. But anyways, his comment goes as follows. That would be funny if Goki sex off feel. LOL. For context, for context, in this episode, Goki was basically... How would you say teasing me oh, about yeah. losing spiel? <laughs> like he Sakimo was teasing me spiel. hella bad. I was like, no, bro, no. <laughs> I was like, no, you're gonna keep that crap up alive. Uh, you know, I have a feebas. I have a feebas on my end. Yeah, I don't want to hear it. <laughs> yeah. So that's why he put that comment. It was it was hilarious because yeah. Goki kept on doing that at the beginning of the series, taunting me, teasing me, however you want to say it, about losing spiel. And I was just like, my heart, man, my heart is right yeah. here. My heart is gonna Honestly, be split Honestly, if I did that, I would have <laughs> massively screwed you over. I would have massively screwed you over. But I got to attach this feel, and it was just too good of a pair to give up. The Dragon Ice typing is just ne- you're never getting that in a soul like in a soul like at all. Like you're never getting that yep. pairing ever. So it was just too Dragon good of a pairing ice. like to not keep. Unless I get a wall rain in the future, who wouldn't want a wall rain? So uh, yeah, that's why I didn't do it. And it's baller, man. You, you gotta respect the baller, dude. You gotta respect the baller. <laughs> Yep. So, and yeah. Ladias will always be Ladias. She'll always be my baby She'll girl. Be a baby girl Ladias, <laughs> we went right, through so lady. many moments. We went through so many moments. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Baller, I miss you already. <laughs> I hope the next season of Souling Versus I get her back again. Imagine if I get Baller back again. Because I had Baller in season two. Like, that was the reference. That's why I named yep, him Baller. Yep. Because I had Baller in season two. And that was what I named him. <laughs> yo, we have a. Yo, imagine we get imagine the same mods for season four. Insane. Knock on wood. Hopefully that. You happens. know that'd be freaking insane. That would be on wild, dude. But no, 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 no. What anyways. happens, right? What happens is, um, um, you get Seal, and I get Latios. <laughs> Ooh. That would be funny. Ooh. <laughs> oh wait, no. I guess it would be Snow Run. Snow Run would be the ice type, uh, um, opposite of Spiel. So you get Snow Run, yep. and I would get uh, Latios. That would be hysterical. Ooh. This would be reversed. Ooh. Ooh, the pair. It'd be a pair, dude. Pair. It'd be a dragon ice pair. It'd be crazy, dude. You know, I actually prefer Frostlass over Glalie. Frostlass is clean. Yeah, Frostlass is really clean. So, I can respect mm-hmm. that. Okay, anyways, uh, going on to the next comment from Nate. He goes on saying, I believe the Jinx episode actually wasn't taken down to Black Jinx. It was taken down because the episode was overly religious with Christmas overtones. Next episode was also taken down by the Japanese government because uh, 16... Uh, People died from Porygon seizures, and the U.S. government was also concerned about this as well. There was also ta- talk about back then whether or not to cancel the first season of Pokemon, and then he goes on talking about that. Yeah. And actually, I, we, me and Goku were doing some research in the back end mm-hmm. just to make sure anything, like to clarify any confusion about it, because I really didn't know the actual reason. Yeah. And I Google searched it, and the first thing that popped out was... Actually, I literally just had it. But it was, it was because... It was well. Actually, I don't have the 
the thing caught up. So you I can pull up that from yeah, Doki? Yeah, I can pull up the thing. So when I when I typed it in, the first thing that came up was um, Hall J Hijinks and Snow Way Out. Originally, Hall J Hijinks was later banned after being accused by Carol Weatherford of stereotyping African American women. So and in the original, and it makes sense because in the original airing, Jinx was mm-hmm. black, not purple. So that was the original coloring of Jinx. So understandably so. You know, it had to be, you know, canceled. And um, ever since then, I know, like, I read the episode of Since has, like, had Jinx be recolored, but it's still banned in certain parts of the world, which makes sense. But, um, yeah, the the, re- the main reason, from what I can tell from my research, and I looked at multiple articles as well, um, the main reason was because of the, um, was because of the race- racial stereotyping. That was the main reason. However, mm-hmm. I also can see why the religious aspect, that, that would make sense to me too. That would make sense to me. Um, and maybe the racial stereotyping was just in America. I don't know if it was, maybe maybe the maybe the religious thing was Japan, but the racial thing was America. I don't know. Maybe that was it. I, I like that's, that. I'm just saying from what my research and what I've seen, the only thing I can find is um, that, that is, that is the racial stuff. So, and then, you know. um, going on about the Porygon Z, uh, the Porygon thing, it is really interesting, because that's why Porygon has never been seen in the anime since that banned episode, because, um, it is because, it's because of, like, the flashing lights, and it's the, the caused, um, a lot of people to have epilepsy. I haven't even heard of anybody dying from it, um, maybe I just haven't looked into it deep enough, but, um, it, enough, but, um it did trigger, like, a lot of, it, it did trigger, like, epilepsy in a lot of people when it aired, so, it, it was taken down after that. And then ever since then, Porygon, hey, there was another Porygon episode that was Porygon bad. Two, <laughs> I don't know if you remember so. that one about the Dratini episode. Sorry, what? <laughs> I don't know if you remember the, about the other bad episode. It was the Dratini episode. I don't remember that actually. No, I think it was. Uh, I think it was just the fact that they were, tr- they had um weapons. Oh yeah, guns and or it, whatever. Since it was right? since it was based on a child's anime. Yeah, it, it, like so they had guns like, or something like that. that and they pointed them at Ash. They're like, ha! This is America. Oh yeah, boys. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't actually watched that episode. Welcome to America. I, I've watched the Porygon episode. I watched the Jinx episode, but I vaguely remember watching that episode. Vaguely, the Dratini episode. I vaguely remember. Yeah, that. is that the that's the episode where um, Ash caught like the thirty Tauros, right? Oh yeah, yeah. And then like everybody it was, was like, Safari Zone huh? episode. Why does he have thirty Tauros all of a sudden? It was that episode. <laughs> You see, this is why you don't ban episodes. Yeah, exactly. This is why exactly. you don't ban episodes. Um, or at least you know, have context it, for You the always leave episodes. out yeah. that filler. At least have context, because, like, the Toros fan, they're fine. Yeah. But, um, yeah. And then, like, another episode, as I, oh, to combine that with the Jinx uh, episode, there was another episode in Sun and Moon anime where um, at the, it was banned because Ash was disguised as a Pisimian, and it looked like blackface. So it was banned, obviously for good reason. Because of <laughs> there, there was a lot of episodes so, of the Pokemon franchise that was yeah. Banned. There were there were a number of episodes. <laughs> dude, it was wild, and then like other delayed episodes as well, based on like real life events. I think there was an episode that was banned because or like that was postponed because of like an earthquake that happened in Japan, which I think because they wanted to respect the people involved in the earthquakes, which I think is very respectable, and things like that. But yeah, the the exactly. main reason the main reason from what I can find in terms of the Jinx banning episode is the racial stereotyping. And I'm certain, like, religion could have possibly played a role in it, too. Maybe more specifically in Japan as opposed to America. But um, the mm-hmm. racial stereotyping, from what I can tell, was the main reason why the episode was banned. So, this is just purely but from yeah, my research, that was... so, Anyways. But yeah, that was all the comments on my end, Doki. Yeah. And now we can get... With Into the... the reason you Join. guys are here! The Pokemon Direct! <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> okay, so... Oh, no. uh, I was thinking we could go in order of the, what happened in the direct. So uh, the first thing would be the um, Wayback Machine, basically. I don't know what else to describe it. The the recap, uh, which lasted like a whole freaking quarter of the freaking direct. Why? <laughs> For real. That For was real? By, I mean, my I'm opinion, that was by lie. far was, the weakest part clean. of the direct. Was that just because like halfway, like by after like Gen 4 happened, I'm just like, okay, okay. I, I, like, it's like, I was just scrolling through my phone like, okay. Okay. <laughs> and really? then the fact that they Yo, kept, saying, the kept saying, like, by that. training card. I, I was actually thrilled Anime. by that uh, intro segment. Regardless of the content that came after it, I, I thought it was pretty cool because they revealed technology that I wasn't even aware of. Yeah, like, no, that, I had that a Game part Boy. was really cool. I didn't know the cable thing. <laughs> that part was really cool. I, I definitely about that. Right. that. I'm, trying to pull up the, I'm trying to pull up the video right now. Here we go. Um, I I just watched it yesterday, just the first time around. Yeah, 
I mean, it was really cool, but, like, by the end of it, I think it dragged on way too long for me personally. Like... Yeah, so the whole entire direct, I believe, was, like, 20 minutes, but the actual content, like, the actual content was probably, like, six to five minutes. Six to five. Five to six yeah. minutes, to be honest. Let's see here. I'm looking... It was probably that. Looking at where this ends. Okay, it ends five minutes... In, the whole intro lasted five minutes and 30 seconds. In a direct, that's only 20 minutes. Oh, my bad. So, and that's not including any of the talking. Statement. That's not including any, like, the Pokemon Snap updates. So, the, yeah, like Gizmo said, the actual content that they were announcing to be new... The new things that we pretty much knew, besides Pokemon Snap, lasted, like, five to six minutes. And the fact that the intro lasted five and a half minutes, that just dragged on way too long, in my personal opinion. Like, that dragged on way too long. Cause especially yeah, since they so, had, like, seventy like, percent was old like, content. Training card, <laughs> anime. It's like, okay, we get it. Training card and anime. It's in everything. If it's in every gen, just have it in the first gen when it was introduced. It's a rat. But anyways... <laughs> I will say though, the fact that they, yeah. the fact for anime for Gen Four, they included that amazing Infernape scene. I'm very proud of that. Thank you, thank you for giving my boy justice in the anime. Thank you. Anyways, sorry, <laughs> that was by, by far, that was by far my favorite part of the thing. Oh my god, it's number one on trending. <laughs> I just realized that. Oh yeah. I have I have the video pulled oh, up. Oh yeah, it is. The Pokemon Presents yeah, is number it is one on definitely trending number right one trending. That's yeah. wild. You know, and also the like to dislike actually, ratio is really uh, good. Uh, the like to dislike ratio is really freaking good. 179,090 likes compared to only 5,858 <laughs> dislikes. That's kind of insane, dude. Yep. That is kind of insane. <laughs> oh my god. But you know, you know what I have to say about that direct? It was, you know, it had it had good parts and bad parts, you know. Yeah. They gave a little bit of like teasers. It was like, "Oh, because of this 25th anniversary, we're giving up off, I guess, like, oh, yeah, the, like the live updates events. thing like in Pokémon Go and stuff like that." Yeah. Yeah, like live events, like the Zapdos, and yeah, was, basically was, like a Kanto cool. theme celebration on the Pokemon Go app. And then on uh, Pokemon, I forgot what it was called. Snap. The other one, GX, or what was it called? On the mobile app? Oh, I uh, used Pokemon to play Masters, it, I gave GX, up on it. or whatever, yeah. Oh, yeah, Pokemon Masters, they had another live event with Leon and his uh, Charizard. Yeah, I guess it was an official was announcement. Kind of... I had already heard of it, but I guess it was just an official announcement again included in this, too. Um, and then I think there was other updates on other games uh, regarding uh, Pokemon. Yeah, so I was there, like, there were, all right, I mean, I don't really care about it. There were a couple of things. And I was like, okay, I mean, on Pokemon Sword and Shield, they're giving that live event of that special Pikachu Gigantamax with its own animation. I was like, all right, yeah. cool, whatever. I was like, I'm here for the actual new content. I don't want any old content. And then we get into the actual content, which um, people are already speculating from a very long time. Yes. Do, but, we, want to, do we want to talk about... The, the there are three games in order, like right. The 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 three games. Do we want to talk about them in order? Uh, being like Pokemon Snap, the spoiler alert. Oh yeah, Gen 4 sure remakes not. and yep. the Legends Arceus. Okay. Ooh ooh. I'm excited ooh, for that. But ooh, first I have off, a lot let's go ahead and talk about, about that last Snap. one. Pretty cool. Let's let's go let's go start with Snap. Yeah. Let's start with Snap. Personally, let's I think it's pretty Snap. cool. It's definitely not going to suit everybody. The thing the thing with most Pokemon side games, I think, is that they're not made for everybody. Like the main series game is just kind of like. Everybody likes it, but the sp the side from what I can tell, like from my own experiences, I should say. But for the side mm -hmm. games, they target a more niche side of the fandom, and I think that's really interesting. So like Pokemon Snap is not gonna be for everybody, just like Pokemon Conquest is not gonna be for everybody, just like Pokemon Mystery Dungeon is not gonna be for everybody, things like that. So um, I know people are kind of mixed on Pokemon Snap. Personally, I think it looks beautiful. I think it's a very beautiful looking game. Um, I'm planning on getting it. I'm excited on getting it. I think it's gonna be really cool. Um, what? Um, oh, you're actually gonna get I it? I think so. Yeah, it looks cool. So even though it's the type of game I would typically would not play, um, it looks cool. And then like oh. I love the online feature too. The online feature looks. Oh wait, cool. I'm trying to, I'm trying to find the trending video. You oh here you go. Never mind. Yeah, the online okay. feature looks really cool. The fact that you can like edit your pictures to like make them look nice. I like that. That I think is a really cool feature that in Pokemon Snap that I personally would enjoy the most out of the game. Is probably like mm -hmm. editing my own pictures and then posting them on on their on this like site I guess on in Pokemon Snap or whatever. Uh, that's my personal mm -hmm. thoughts on it. Nothing much more needs to be said besides it looks beautiful. Uh, this is what Sword and Shield should have looked like, and uh, yeah. Exactly. You <laughs> you stole the comment from me. Frick you. Yes. Well, <laughs> that's what you I was know, gonna say. Whatever. <laughs> you know, I love Sword and Shield. Sword and Shield are great games, but my God, they needed some work in the graphics department. Because <laughs> exactly, oh God. exactly. Uh, the glow things also don't make sense. The either. animation on about, Pokemon that's Snap, why, Pokemon beats Snap. why the Sword glow ball things? I don't understand, but you know, that's what Sword and Shield should have yeah, been. Yeah, this is what Sword and Shield should have been, in my opinion. So, 
But you know what they did? They said, frick, Sword and Shield. Here is Tree. And we're going to do it our own way. And listen, again, we both Gizmo and I like, well, I'm assuming Gizmo does. I really like Sword and Shield. I think they're good games. However, like I'm not going to sit here and say the story is good and the graphics are good when they aren't really good. <laughs> So, you know, like parts of Sword and Shield look good, right? Parts of Sword and Shield look good, but like the wild area? Yeah. yeah. No. Mm -hmm. No, it does not. I agree with that. <laughs> it does not. The story, I'm going to be honest, I thought it was bad. I thought the story was I thought the story was by far the weakest part about Sword and Shield personally. But again, you know, they, they, they again, it's just the post game for me in terms of like the post game, I wish this uh, uh, hot take and I I'm sorry, but I, I know I'm kind of going on a rant. Uh, I'll stop myself after this. No, I think did. the post game villains should have been the main villains. I think that would have been more entertaining game. But anyways, that's a debate for another day. Uh long story short, I loved like the competitive aspect of Storm Shield. Like I think they was really stepped up the game in competition and that's something or like the um VGC. That's something I really like about Sword and Shield. That's probably my favorite part about Sword and Shield, as well as the Pokemon that they added. And the characters, I think, look really yep. good. I love the character designs. But I'm not going to sit here and say they're objectively the best games in the series when, in my opinion, no. they're definitely not. They're and there's definitely they're a lot of things they can improve from on. That. So, just to clarify, I'm not a typical from, like, the Pokemon fan. Issues. I can, I can listen to reason. the Wi-Fi battle issues. But that's it. Uh, anyways. We don't talk about that, though. We don't talk about, don't that. Talk about anyways, no. Sorry. Pokemon Snap. <laughs> what are your that. thoughts, Gizmo? <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, Pokemon Snap in general, I see it. The graphics is amazing. Again, this is not a game I would personally pick mm -hmm. up, and I would enjoy seeing Goki play this. So, whenever it comes out, which I believe is on the thirtieth of April, yep. I hope Goki picks it up that day so I could watch his live stream. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm gonna say. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Pokemon Snap, beautiful game, great animation. Ten out of ten. What I personally pick it? No, no. <laughs> Animation, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. 10, out of 10. Uh, no, no, no. That was, that was a joke. That was a joke. That was a joke. Um, another, another thing I, mean, in I, terms of another graphics... thing I just thought to add as well is like, um, I might, I used to have like, a, I used to, um, I used to uh, do photography as like a hobby. So that's another reason this game interests me as well. Personally, is because I've done photography before and I've gotten some pretty sick pictures. So not to brag or anything, but gotcha i got some pretty sick pictures i i i, I hope you take good pictures of these Pokemon, oh yeah i'm definitely gonna do that especially when it comes to I'm definitely gonna do that to chimchar you know yeah do chimchar justice I, I don't i actually don't think chimchar is gonna be in here but hopefully he is i think i think they're hopefully. gonna have a lot of pokemon i think the gen 4 pokemon are in there i don't know we'll see we'll see uh but speaking of chimchar, yeah, the next game <laughs> which everybody is I... on war about in twitter and in the youtube comment section Oh god, yep. it's a Gen 4 remake. <laughs> I'll let, I mean, I'll people already we'll predicted this, this remake, I'll let though. We'll take this one first. People already predicted this remake coming from a mile away. Wait, what? I said people were expecting this remake from a very long time. Yeah. A very long yeah. time. Yeah. So I'm not surprised it came. Yeah, no, same, same. But, people were, like, begging for it. But people have been Goki. begging for it before for years, Goki. ever since Oras came out. So, you know. <laughs> Gogi, before you go on and put it on your yeah, input, I just go gotta first. say one you thing. I may I don't remember the titles, but what the heck is shining or what is it? Brilliant diamond and shining pearl? What? <laughs> what? What? I that mean... is such a stupid name. I, okay, I, I won't say much because I don't know the story aspect. Maybe they changed something to why it should be called brilliant diamond and like shining pearl, kind of like Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Mm -hmm. Those make sense. Those make sense. Yeah. But like, Dialga being brilliant and then Pearl, I mean, uh, Palkia being shining. I'm just like. <laughs> What? I, I don't mean, see the correlation. It's kind of like Heart Gold One deals with time and the other one deals with space. I'm like... <laughs> yeah. I mean, to be fair, it's kind of like Heart Gold and Soul Silver, where the heart and soul don't really make sense. It's just Heart Gold Soul Silver. I think it's kind of more like that case, where it's just like they had to come up with something, so it's just like, well, it's 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 the original but Diamond and Pearl, but better. I think that's personally what I think. I think that's probably what they came up with, so... Personally, I think it's a cool title, so... You know. I personally think it's just stupid. Well, I mean, you know, I, I don't blame you there. The story does there. it. I don't blame you. I, unless I'm the story four, does it justice, that's why I will. We can say sip. On YouTube. <laughs> I'll hold my comment on that. Sip. But <laughs> yeah, on first, on first look, I think I think it's stupid. Yeah, yeah, I, I get you. And I mean, again, I'm slightly biased because the gen I grew up around was Gen Four. So, however, um, you, you keep going, Gizmo. What are you, what are your thoughts on the actual gameplay and stuff like that? Oh, 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 about the actual gameplay, you know. I'm curious to hear your thoughts because I haven't heard anything. You yet. know, the chibi style and everything. You know, this game literally resembles Omega Ruby. Literally. It's almost like Omega Ruby just in, in the uh, Sinnoh region. 
And on top of that, with HD graphics, that's that's how I view this game. Yeah. That's legit how I view this game. Yeah. It's like an update, an HD version of Omega Ruby, just in the Sinnoh mm. region. That's how I well, see I mean, it. Well, I mean, you know, I'm just like, people are, okay, people are gonna be angry about I hope that one. they change a couple things, but like, yeah. Yeah. People are going to be angry about well, it. When I personally get this yeah, game, it's kind of like a chibi yeah. version. It's, it's, it's kind of like chibi. It's, it's basically a chibi version, but, um, yeah. Uh, sorry. Continue. Will I personally get this game? Yeah. I'll still Freaky get it. Yeah. I'll still get it. Freaky regardless. Because yeah. it's, it's a Pokemon game. You know? It's a Pokemon game. Why wouldn't you get it? Exactly. Um, anyways, uh, do you have any more thoughts on it? No, that's all I really got to say. Just nice. an updated version of Omega Ruby. Yeah. That's all I got to okay, say. Okay, well, I'm going to go on a bit of a rant here, right? So, mm-hmm. I don't understand why people say the game looks bad, because it doesn't. In my opinion. It does not look bad. It looks pretty good. My personal opinion on the matter. I know, I can understand people not liking the chibi style. That's really fine. That's up to you. That's your personal takes. However, saying the game is objectively bad, you're wrong. <laughs> that's not being a, sh- that's not being, being a shrimp for a game freak. That's not being, that, uh, that is me saying, honestly, if you, if you thought, if you thought, ser- if you seriously thought we were going to get Sinnoh remakes in 2021 that looked good, or like objectively good, like Sword and Shield, that you were being extremely unrealistic. <laughs> My good, my good sir, madam, person watching this video, okay? That is just facts. You, there is no way you, like, there's no way any sane person would expect HD, like, perfect looking, what Sword and Shield should have been graphics in a remake of Diamond and Pearl. There's no way. Like, that's, that's really stupid to think about, right? Uh, my personal take on that matter. Um, my opinion would be, like, this is, this is what was going to happen. It, either Gen 4 Remix would not have gotten announced in this Direct. People would have gone crazy on Twitter. Uh, the games would have been announced, would have looked like Sword and Shield. People would have raged on Twitter. Uh, this, people raged on Twitter. Or this, but the game is delayed until 2022 or even 2023, and people would rage on Twitter. No matter what, Pokemon fans were not going to be satisfied with this remake. So, my personal opinion on the matter, I was expecting to be disappointed. I was expecting to be massively disappointed by how the game looked. I think the game looks good. Not great, Yet, the game footage is not final, and I cannot emphasize that enough. Yes, that's what we said about Sword and Shield, and Sword and Shield looks crappy, but we don't talk about that. I still have hope that Game Freak can make this look, clean this up, and it still does look better than Sword and Shield right now, so, to be fair. Um, personally, I think the, I actually, actually really like the chibi designs. I think it looks very cute. It stays true to the original game. Um, the Let's Go t- Battles style, where you're in the battle, looks a bit off. Like, to me, the backgrounds look a bit off. That's me personally. I think the Let's Go, like, the Let's Go style in the battle clashes with the background. That's my personal opinion on the matter. Um, I do think this game does need some cleaning up. That is, like, obviously this game, I'm not shielding game from criticism. I do think this game needs to be cleaned up quite a bit. But, again, this director is not, this is not final footage, and it's on YouTube, where it's already going to be pixelated anyways. So... My personal take on it, if you guys are seriously complaining about how the graphics look, you should not have been begging for remakes for the past five years. So, yeah, because this is what was going to happen. And you were going to be upset yep. anyways, regardless. You were destined to be upset at how the games looked. If it didn't, because it would not have looked exactly the way you wanted it to. My personal opinion, I love it. I like how it stays faithful, for the most part, to the original games. I think it's really cool. I like the, I like the cuteness of it, and yeah, fight me. You know, Goki, this kind of reminds me back when we were having that. I think it was a podcast that we did, or we were just talking about it. When, before a couple of days before Sword and Shield came out, we were like, people are going to talk crap about, the, about this game regardless. Yeah. But you know what? They're still going to freaking buy yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. That <laughs> They're still gonna you already it. know ha- over half the people that are talking crap on this game are still going to buy it because it's Pokemon. That's the <laughs> other thing, too. They're still going to buy it. <laughs> and then, watch later down exactly. the line... People are going to be praising the game. Because guess what? That's what happened with Gen 5. That's what happens with Gen 6. That's what's going to happen with Gen 7. That's probably what's going to happen with Gen 8. That's, that's, history is repeating itself, guys. Are you too dumb to see that? I'm sorry, but it makes me so <laughs> mad when Pokemon fans are stupid. Exactly. And like you know, I said, actually, you, know you what can I'm looking hate forward the game. To in the game. That's fine. You can hate the art style. That's fine. But saying the game is objectively bad when it's not is, not th- is something I will not agree with. You can hate the design all you want. That's fine. That does not make it an objectively bad game. And don't crap on people for wanting to buy the game or for being, like, simps for Game Freak. Because they're not. Because it does look like a cute Goki. game. Anyways. Goki, the one thing that I'm actually looking forward to of the whole yeah, game, like, regardless, uh, the, the, 
the design and the way that the the game is being portrayed is fine with me. Mm. I could live with yeah. that. The only thing I'm looking forward to is like the story plot. Yeah. What's the reason behind like imagine, the brilliant imagine, and like, shiny the in whole the name scene with Cyrus on top of Mount Coronet, dude? Oh, I cannot wait. I'm looking forward to this it. You know, so cool. uh, you know, I could serve, I could deal with the chibi. Yeah. Like all that. I mean, I saw plenty of it a little bit in uh, Let's Go Pikachu. So I was like, all right. Yeah. yeah I mean, I was like, all right. Yeah. I, my expectations are always low as it is. <laughs> there <laughs> so, you go. But, but you know what? You know what? I forgive them for the way they did the, the Diamond and Pearl remakes because of the next game they revealed. That is true too. Oh my God. Oh I will say, my god. I will say this is a great marketing ploy by Game Freak because they knew. They you already know Game Freak knew people were gonna go crazy about the Diamond Pearl remakes and not in a good way. You knew people were gonna heavily dislike the Diamond Pearl remakes. You already knew that. So the fact that they put Legends Arceus right after Diamond Pearl remakes, that is by far the best thing they could have done, and I salute them for that, because that is great marketing. <laughs> Yeah, obviously enough, we know this disrespect was like more of a Sinnoh celebration. Yeah. So, you know what? I'm going to just say this. As a Sinnoh fan, I am 100% down and I love it. Sorry. Now, in terms of plot-wise for the new game, since we're now moving on to the new game, yes. let me just say, Pokemon funny Legends enough, Arceus, I'm way, reading right, right now memory. a novel that's based on an RPG. And funny enough, it coexists with this game. And I'm just like... As a child, I've always wanted to play a game where you could just freelance, I guess. How you, how would you say it? It's like, you could roam open world, freely. Yeah, open anywhere. World. And I know there's another game that does the similarly to this, yeah. and I think it's, like, Poke Park. I kind of, yeah. I mean, Poke I Park's... Think. Yeah, Poke Park's kind of open world. Yeah, but it's not It's not near the same as what this is going to be. It's not near the same. Ooh, oh. So. Oh, yes, dude. This game is this like... This game is going to be so much fun. I'm going to go I cannot full on wait, ham. Dude. Full on ham. I have to get this game. Yeah, no, for sure. Free world. You could battle Pokemon. You could level up. Essentially, what you do, similarly to the... What's it called it in Sword and Shield? The wild area? Wild area. It's, kind it's of basically the, the wild area, format. but open world Breath of the Wild style. It's better. Like, that's the entire game is exactly. the wild area, which is what people were hoping Sword and Shield would be. So, this is really exciting. This is like my fantasies come true. This is really exciting. <laughs> like, Sinnoh fans have been, regardless of how you feel about the Diamond Pearl remakes, Sinnohs have been blessed, like, Sinnoh fans have been blessed just because this game exists. Arceus is finally getting mm. a game about him. Um, we get open world, which we never thought we would get. It looks amazing so far, and that's not even with the game finalized. Hopefully, the people will still work on it. It does still need work, obviously, like every game. Yep. But hopefully, they won't pull a Cyberpunk 2007 or 2077 on us um, and release it too early. Uh, crossing fingers on that. But yeah, these these games look phenomenal. It the I'm gonna geek out about the character designs real fast because my god, the avatars for the main characters. Oh, look amazing and then the fact that we get <laughs> Rowlet, Oshawott, and Cyndaquil as our starters oh my god I am so excited um but yeah this, <laughs> this game looks beautiful this is what I would hope this is what this is basically all I could hope for for a Sinnoh like open world experience this is what I could hope for it looks amazing and beautiful and I cannot <laughs> wait to pick it up oh my god I cannot wait please you know, let it be good <laughs> sorry <laughs> You know the art, the talking about the design for these characters and the, their clothing especially. Yeah. If you guys have watched anime, and you've watched the theme of hair, I mean not harem, uh, isekais, then this is literally the definition of isekai. <laughs> like going wrapped into another world with the clothing and everything. It's just like you can tell it's Dawn <laughs> it and gave Lucas, me like, but they look so cool. I was How thrilled. How do they look so cool? I love I it. I was thrilled. And imagine like, the I'm lore so too. Imagine the lore this. we're gonna learn because we're cre we're basically creating the first ever Sinnoh Pokedex. But like, imagine the lore. We we're clearly getting Arceus because it's called Pokemon Legends Arceus. And not only that, the name implies that after Pokemon Legends Arceus, maybe there's gonna be a Pokemon Legends Zygarde. Who knows? Anything can happen now. <laughs> like, oh my God, this was out of the realm of everybody's expectations. Nobody, I can guarantee, pretty much nobody was expecting this. And if you were. You were just high hoping it. You were high hoping it. You were not expecting this. You were just high hopes for it. I yeah. am so but honestly, excited. Uh, I wouldn't I be surprised. If... Wait. Anyways, <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you. I wouldn't be surprised if they find a way to f uh, fuck up this game. I wouldn't. Be I mean, I wouldn't be surprised so either. I don't have my high fair, expectations high. I wouldn't be surprised either. I, and I hope to God they don't, because if they do, I will never forget that. But still, but you know, I, I hope still, to God they don't. If they keep the elements. 
Goki. If they keep the elements that they did on the trailer, I'll be satisfied. Yeah. I'll be satisfied. Yeah. I'm, I'm hoping they add in personally. elements of, like, Breath of the Wild, where it's, like, you do side quests and stuff like that. That would be so cool. And I'm, if they don't have online, that's going to be a problem. But I, but hopefully they do have online. Hopefully they have online. Because it's been rumored that they might I not mean, how would they have do online. That, though? And I think this game, how would I think they a do game that? like this needs online. For it to be, like, truly but how would they do that online, though? on the level of, like, Breath I mean, of I feel the like Wild. I think this game needs to have, like, some sort of online feature where, like, you can interact with other people in the game. Because, like, just relying on, like, um, catching Pokemon and stuff like that, that's, that's, people are going to get bored of that really fast. So you need to have something that will keep people but, coming back to the game. In order for bust an SAO mission in this game? <laughs> I, I don't know. We know, we basically know nothing about how the game is going to be Yo, if they do that, the world. if they do that, I would, like... I don't know how to say. I don't even describe my emotion without be feeling if I knew if they adapted SAO into this game. I'd be like, oh, that'd be funny, dude. Imagine geez. dreams come true. Dreams no, they, come they true. Hide, I could they die happy. Like, you know, if they do that, they just hide like an outfit okay. you can unlock, and it looks like Kirito and Asuna's outfits. Dude, that'd be funny. Ooh, bro. Actually, you know what? The, you know the one thing that I feel like would make this game better in terms of the format mm. if they did this in VR in some shape or that form. would no, be, that'd be cool. Sick. That'd be cool. But obviously, this is technology very far That's away. technology. From well, this to be fair, time. we weren't expecting Pokemon open game to ever exist. They might be, like, we might, there's a chance we might get a VR experience this sometime this decade, later this decade. Technology is up, upgrading really fast. So there's a chance we might get something like that this decade, because my god, that would be really freaking cool. If we got, like, a VR Pokemon And this experience. is actually on top of what I talked uh, told Goki during the Versus. I was like, you know what co uh, Pokemon would be good with? It would be if it was, like, a VR aspect virtual environment. Yeah game it'd be cool that'd be really especially cool. with open world open world too dope. with battling dude and with multiplayer multiplayer as well Ooh. oh dream come true at least for me personally at least for me oh yeah no i think everybody can agree that would be so cool so um again i see what pokemon i see what pokemon did because they knew people were gonna have i knew they were that they knew they were gonna get backlash on the the Diamond Pearl remakes. So they added this game at the end. I like, I respect it. That's how you market a game. Not that crappy freaking Knockout City game from the Nintendo Direct a week ago, where it was just like, they had they interviewed like all these characters that were from different genres of gaming and looked like it was going to be really cool. And then they just had Knockout City and they released none of the characters. My God, I hate that commercial. But this is really cool. This is how you market. The, take, no, take note, f future business take notes, people. Guys. This is how you market things. Future promoters. <laughs> That 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 Yo. that commercial is not how you market things. This is how you can mar market things. I'm just gonna say that. You know, you go from the trashy stuff like eh, and then you go to bam. What all, all the, the good fans stuff have been hoping for. That's how you end it. Yeah. God damn. Woo! <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the Pokemon Direct that I really wanted to say. Yeah, that's pretty much it. For I me love too, it. Honestly, I said I said my piece. Gen four means a lot to me uh, because again, I grew up on I grew up on Gen's. Three and I say four and three technically because I started off with four and then I went back to three and both generations mean the world to me. Um, if I had to choose, I think Gen four would be in my personal opinion my quote unquote perfect gen just because like it yeah. has amazing games uh, like side games included. It's just overall an amazing gen. Um, oh, the one well, thing that would make this I mentioned this in my reaction as well, but the one thing that would have made this direct perfect for me is if they teased some sort of side game like Pokemon Conquest two or Mystery Dungeon. Uh, Explorers remakes, or uh, even Poke Park, or something like that. That, in my opinion, would be really cool. Uh, besides Pokemon Snap, because we already knew about Pokemon Snap, we knew Pokemon Snap was going to be mentioned somewhere in here. Um, and like Pokemon oh, Legends, actually, there is, like, was my one thing I would that much rather take Pokemon Mango. Legends over a side game. But I think it would have been really neat if they had like hinted at a side game, like a little sprinkle of like, hmm, there's a little bit of a teaser. Looking forward to this. You know, you know what I mean. Like what they did with Breath of the Wild yeah, I get 2, you. which still hasn't come out, but hopefully it'll you. come out soon. Crossing the years you again. You know, there's one the thing I'm curious but, about. Do you think that they're going to fix the Wi-Fi issues on Shiny Diamond? And... Honestly, I don't still know. Be on I, hope it, I hope to God it's not like Let's Go, because Let's Go sucked. I hope they do. No, I mean, like, is it going to be transferring, like, the online multiplayer oh, from Sword and Shield? I now it's going it. to be centered at Shiny Diamond, is it? I doubt it because there's going to be characters. I'm, I'm, it's going to be interesting to see how they handle it because I can guarantee there's going to be characters. There's like Pokemon that you can't get in the Sinnoh games. Um, so I'm curious. Yeah. I am curious to see. How they might not interact with each other at all. I would not be surprised if they didn't interact with each other. That's my guess. They won't interact with each other at all. 
Because, like, I know people are saying, like, you're only going to get the Pokemon from the first four gens in this remake, which makes sense. Um, we'll see, though. I have no idea. Since it, and it kind of makes sense as well, because this is going to be, like, a faithful adaptation of the original games. It would make sense if they didn't add any extra Pokemon, or if they did, they did some sort of, like, DLC or something like that. Uh, which, by the way, the DLC yeah, does not they're... suck. Stop saying the DLC sucks, because it's way better than having to purchase a third game, like Emerald and, Di- and true, Platinum, true. if you could just download them for, like, a third of the price... So shut your mouths, you idiots. Anyways, sorry. <laughs> yeah, the reason I was saying that is because in Omega Ruby, which was literally a remake of the original, yeah. uh, they essentially went through the original game with the same mods that you would originally ca- encounter. But once you beat the game, yeah, you have access to, I, I guess it was the resort. And then that resort, okay. you could catch all additional other Pokemon. So I was wondering if that's how Diamond and Pearl's remix is going to take that approach. Gotcha. It's like... Throughout the original timeline of the story, you do all that. Once you're done, and maybe some after game, and then you get access to a specific island or something, or maybe a DLC will come up mm. and say, oh, all right, now you have access to all the Pokemons that were in Sword and Shield, and now you can play multiplayer in some shape or form. Gotcha. Which, that would be cool. I don't that would see be cool. that bad. That's, that's what they did in HeartGold and um, Fire Red as well. They they had, like, this Pal Park place you could go to, or, or something like that, and then you could get, like, Pokemon from the older, from, like, the other games that way. Uh, they did the same thing in those games, too, now I think about it. So that's definitely what they're going to do. They're going to just have, like, the first four generations, which is what they've done in every other remake. Um, but they might add something in like as, like, DLC or something like that where you can add in other Pokemon from other games. It'll be interesting to see. I'm curious to see how they handle it. And by the way, no, not having National Dex does not make it a bad game, you idiots. It was bound to happen. Uh, uh, I'm, so- I'm going on a rant today, but my God, I can't take stupid Pokemon fans because it's like... People who didn't think the National Dex cut was going to happen eventually are just idiots because it was going to happen eventually. Yep. Like, I'm sorry. That's like a lot of mods. We're talking about more than It was going to happen eventually. It's a matter of time. Granted, it happened earlier than I think anybody expected, but it was going to happen at some point. So stop whining. And yeah, frick you. Yep. 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 Most likely, and you're like older than me. Really stop complaining. <laughs> Uh, uh, well, that's it for this podcast, right, Goki? Yep, I think that's pretty much it. Let us know your spi- so you let us know how you approve of our spicy <laughs> hot takes on the Pokemon Direct. And also let us know your opinions down below. Gizmo, I'm sorry for the hate you'll get in advance. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. Uh, oh, my God. The more, the better. Hey, the more, the better. Thank you for, the, thank you for, the more, thank the you for contributing to our algorithm. Thank you for pushing this video out even more. So in a way, you're also agreeing with our views by disagreeing with us. Hi, got him. Checkmate. I have destroyed all YouTube hate comments. With one All right, if you guys enjoyed this podcast, definitely subscribe to the channel Woo! and subscribe to Goki yeah! as Goki has amazing content on his uh, end, even though he's not posting anything. I, I, SMH, whoa, whoa, whoa! I've been posting SMH. stuff. I've been posting stuff. I've been posting something. He hasn't I'm been posting, posting anything Thank unoriginal. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, I know, I'm just I know. Kidding. I'm teasing you. But yeah, definitely sub to my boy. Woo! And with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy the podcast and stay tuned for the final podcast of this series yep. next week. There will week. be possibly so. future podcasts to add, but this will be the final Soling versus Fire Red Leaf Green podcast. will be next week. Exactly. So. so with that being said, this has been Gizmo and that has been Goki. Woo! And, oh, well, my bad. The idiot. And the, uh, yes, my I name will is see idiot. you guys Thank next you. week. Thank you for remembering my name, Gizmo. Peace. Peace out, mates. Woo!